Oh, it is amazing. It's like cavemen rubbing some sticks and seeing the first fire. It's, uh, it's the same kind of acceleration. We are here to uh, test our single nozzle rig, which is a fuel injector that's installed in a single nozzle test section where we can study the fuel's ignition as well as stability for the flame. Hi, I'm Nishant Jain. I'm a senior propulsion engineer at Boom. A burner in a jet engine has fuel nozzles, which is an important part of the engine where you gotta mix the fuel with the air at the right time and in the right distance, and you have to ignite it and stabilize the flame. Boom and Georgia Tech has been partner for this uh, study. We have a single nozzle rig test facility that was commissioned at Georgia Tech's combustion lab. This is the place where I started my uh, graduate school. And Professor Zinn, he was one of the He's one, he's one of the pioneers in combustion who was who taught us combustion. We are basically starting a fuel nozzle and combustor design from uh, uh, from a sheet of paper. Boom, trying to go and build a supersonic commercial plane um, is having to really innovate on the combustor side. We're doing their single nozzle testing. So uh, looking at things like flame shape, emissions, flame stability, ignition, which we're doing today, all these things we can do here as well as using more cutting edge, world-class diagnostics to really understand uh, the thermodynamic and fluid dynamic conditions inside the combustor. The main purpose of running the rig is to uh, mitigate some of the technical risks that we could potentially run into in the uh, core test in 2026. My name is Kevin Song. I'm a hot section lead at Boom Supersonic. In the grand scheme of things, ultimately this learning will feed into the actual Symphony engine. Uh, on the hardware side, a lot of it was developed by uh, Boom on the test section end. So uh, we have a, a plenum that leads into a test section that ends up going into a water-cooled exhaust nozzle. And it's single walled, so there's only one wall between the actual firing and the, you know, us in the atmosphere. Start my spray water. Spray water's going. Igniter on. Testing has been going wonderful so far. We achieved ignition and we had no problem lighting the fuel nozzle at the test conditions that we were uh, testing today. And these are some of the harder test conditions to hold the flame at since we are running at really low temperatures and low pressures. That's a huge thing. You can't run the engine up to the spools until you can light it. So we show that we can light it at both desired conditions today. So this is just the very preliminary step uh, in the testing where we are. We are going to ramp up on pressure and uh, ramp up on temperature. I think it's really exciting because supersonic travel was enabled by Concorde and it stopped service in early 2000. Boom is at the forefront of making this happen, so I'm really excited to witness the uh, fuel nozzle performance today. Any significant improvement in the aerospace propulsion systems that we can do right now is paving the way for uh, what the future holds for us. It's very exciting.